Dave, thank you so much for doing this. It is great to see you. Great to see you. I want to talk to you about a couple of cool things that you're doing. Uh, this one you did during quarantine, you, you taught a Broadway Zoom class. Uh, yeah. What, what was that like and how did you get involved and had you ever taught a class before? Well, first of all, I'd never taught a class before and I was think I was way more terrified than any of the students, way more nervous. But my friend actually created this platform, it's amazing, it's called Broadway Weekend and um, it's uh, where Broadway and Western professionals teach theatre classes, whatever their skills are, online and it's created this like global community. And it's great because you know when these performers can't perform because of lockdown, they're getting to share their skills and people at home can be creative and learn and try and have some fun. That's such it's a great. Idea. I, I really recommend everyone to check it out. Uh, once you did it, did you feel better at it? Once you started doing it, I mean, I, I I was teaching audition technique, which is completely insane because I am terrible at auditions. Oh. Uh, I I know that your audition for Mamma Mia uh, was a it ended up being a big weekend for you, because <laughs> was it Glastonbury? Yeah, I was, God, I mean, it was insane. I, I, I knew I had to sing in this audition. I was desperate for this part, but I, I, I was meant to be scheduled at the end of Glastonbury Music Festival, and I knew for sure that after screaming in a field for five days, there was no way I would be able to sing. So oh I thought, I, I did it on the way. To, I had the car packed with the stuff and the wellies and the outfits, and then I went in, I sang, went to Glastonbury, and, and my phone ran out of battery, and... I think I found out I got, I think they tried to call me and tell me I got the part and it wasn't until I was in the car on the way home, I plugged in my phone and I listened to, I, my agent calls, calls me and I'm like, hello. <laughs> you got the job, I'm like, please say it doesn't start soon. <laughs> You're the lead in Mamma Mia too. You're like, oh, this is fantastic. Oh God. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, speaking of Mamma Mia, this summer the producers actually said that it was meant to be a trilogy. So there may be a, Ma a Mamma Mia 3 in the works. Would, would, you wow. be, would you be interested if that... Yeah, I want to do like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm <laughs> down. I'm like, <laughs> sign, seal, deliver, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, I want to talk about Rebecca, uh, your new movie, uh, which is based on the famous book. It's part... Uh, love story, part thriller, part mystery. Can you set up what it's about? It's based on the book by Daphne du Maurier. It's the most wonderful, wonderful book. And it starts as this sweeping romance. And then you follow this newlywed who I play. She follows her husband to this, to, back to England to this huge imposing estate called Mandley, which is almost a character in itself. And the story sort of flip reverses into a gothic horror ghost story. And it becomes just terrifying. Um, it's got a great cast. Kristen Scott Thomas plays Mrs. Danvers and she's just... Come on. Oh, just chilling and wonderful in every way. I and, love um, that you got her, I mean, that someone got her to do this because I thought she was only going to do theater. She's honestly, I just adore her and yeah. she's so... She she flips the part as well. It kind of becomes... the Because the, the Hitchcock made this film to be very famous and she flips this part from the villain to almost the moral compass from the film and and Ben Wheatley directed it and he also he's so good at delving into the darkness of our human psyche and so it's 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 a psychological thriller really yeah have you ever had any experiences with ghosts yourself <laughs> you know what I have just figured something out and I'm a bit traumatized by it which is that my whole life I've had these reoccurring nightmares where a dark figure walks towards me and like leans over me and I, I wake up screaming and and it goes into my consciousness and, and, and whoever I've been with would be happy, it's okay, it's okay. I was in a dorm for nearly 10 years with one girl at, when I was at school and she'd comfort me once a week, almost once a week I'd wake up screaming and I have only just realized this, but her name is Rebecca. No. <laughs> You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. So I think she's been screwing with me my entire life. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Rebecca. Dude, and... now the dreams are going to get crazier and crazier. Hope, no, they won't. I'm, I'm going to put it out there in the world right now. They're gone. Yeah, I will, yeah I'll talk to somebody. I'll make sure it's all good. Uh, I do want to show it? everyone a clip, though. Mm -hmm. Here are Lily James and Army Hammer in Rebecca. Take a look. Bonjour. Mademoiselle. Oh. Madame Van Oppel's usual table. Oh, yes, thank you, merci. Oh, no, um, wait, sorry. She was wondering if a Mr. De Winter could sit with her. Monsieur Maxime De Winter? Oui. It is the choice of Monsieur De Winter where he wishes to be seated. Oh, yes, of course. 
Um, merci. So sorry, is that not, not enough? Um, here, I've, I've got more. Oh. God, I'm so sorry, monsieur. Just one moment. Don't do it. Oh. I've heard he's a terrible bore. Is, excuse me? It's the winter chap. Oh, thank you. Monsieur de Winter, please, this way. Lily James, Rebecca is streaming on Netflix and in select theaters right now.